full house this morning. I'm joined with Kelly and Kelly, uh, Kelly yes. Kiefer, of course, and Kelly Huggins this morning. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about you in just a second. Mm -hmm. Do you mind waiting? That's fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> because we also have Nicholas here, and he is just so happy-go-lucky over there. He yeah. loves being here. Um, amazing. <laughs> Can uh, amazing. you tell us a bit about um, it? Nicholas is nine. Uh, he came to the shelter with a friend, Babs, mm. who is eight. Um, she would have been here this morning, but she was spayed yesterday. And she's doing really well, but I didn't want to push her. Oh, yeah. Um, but Nicholas is here to, to let everybody know that actually they're a bonded pair. So um, she is equally as wonderful as he is. And we really, really would love them to go together, Ross. Mm. Um, and of course, they're part of our Senior for Senior program because right. of their age. So check them out on our Facebook page or our website. Better yet, we're open today at 11. Come on over to the shelter and meet them. As you can see, he, he's, he's pretty amazing guy. He's such a he lover really and uh, just so well behaved too. Right? I, he really is. I mean, there's just, uh, everything is just so wonderful about him that uh, he, he, he'll make your heart sing. He really will. Yeah. Now to your guest that you brought this morning, you brought another yeah. Kelly. Yeah. This is Kelly with an I, Kelly, Kelly Huggins. Kelly with an I. And Kelly, you work at uh, the Shemong Valley Historic Museum. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about what you do and why you're here, if you would. So I'm the education coordinator at the museum, so I get to help plan all sorts of fun programming, yeah. like our Dogapalooza that we have coming up on Saturday, November 7th. Sounds awesome. Uh, it's from noon to three at the Historical Society at 415 East Water Street in Elmira. And it's a partnership and celebration of all things dogs. So uh, adoptable dogs like Nicholas and also dog history, uh, celebrating some of the things in our historic collection as well. I was going to say that's kind of where the collaboration comes mm -hmm. from because you're actually a, an animal historian, correct? Yes. yes. So this, I'm sure you're extremely excited about this event. Yeah, that was a, a lot of where this partnership started is that we had these great pictures and items related to animals in our collection and I just saw these natural partnerships. That's cool. And, and so what time again is this uh, and where? So Saturday, November 7th uh, at the Historical Society from 12 to 3. Uh, all sorts of activities for all ages, crafts, adoptable animals, artwork from over 2,000 local students, lots to do. That's great. And free of charge. Free of yes, charge, the best free. part. All right, thank you guys so much yeah, for being here. Kelly you. and Kelly again. Come back again. This was fun. We will. Yes. <laughs> that looks like Nick Quattrini. <laughs> <laughs> He's snoozing down there. Don't, don't disturb him.